<laughs> he ran off to die. Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, the first ever episode I'm doing a tent bubble. <laughs> yes, this is a game where we take control of beavers. Yeah, you hear me, right? Look at that guy picking carrots. He's loving his life. Loving it. Loving it. <laughs> So if you remember, I played a, I played a game where it was sort of medieval and you had to fight dragons and stuff. Uh, it was very low poly and that was sort of the charm to it. This one is very similar. We start off as just like we had just this little thing. District 1. I've done the tutorial, so I kind of know what I'm doing. And we're about to undergo a giant renovation project here to give our beavers a lovely better home. Look at him go. He's like, oh, I cannot wait. It's going to be brilliant. <laughs> uh, and I've just, this is it right here look at it it's massive so we need to get more water mills in order to right i got you what are you doing cutscene age two are you little papa oh god don't look under the water don't look under water by a cat there's there's nothing there but death <laughs> right okay so if you're familiar with any sort of town building simulators um like a stardew valley as well a bit of farming there too it is glorious so we actually um don't have enough adult beavers to work the amount of stuff we've got going on all of these things that click on the bottom and they're, they're it's crazy it's crazy the amount of things we've got going so this is what i'm working towards um I want to make my beavers happy, because if you make them happy, they... I don't know. I think they, they do better. Uh, you unlock some sort of perk. Uh, to unlock, reach average well-being of 15 while pay, playing folk tales. Progress, 5 out of 15. So, in order to get certain things, they need all of this, which is kind of crazy. We've only got 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, wet fur... I don't know how to do that. I'm focusing on the main priority at hand, and that is getting houses. Demolish buildings and resources. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, also, the seasons change, so you get droughts in this, and when you get droughts, the water dries up. If the water dries up, there's no more power. No more power. Well, it can be bad. So, uh, we need more beavers. That's what we need. You know what? We don't need berries. We've got plenty of berries. Stop it with the berries. Look at them all. Look at them all. <laughs> so actually, to be fair, got a lot of carrots going on, I suppose. Okay. So we've got a water pump, which gives us one water every half an hour. Uh, or we could get three water. Discharges water. But that doesn't sound good to me. I placed my water mill here, right? And it's getting me... Uh, power output, 80. It'll tell you, I mean, even just these two are different. 71, 80. This is a better current. So I'm assuming if we put that in the water, we'll find out what's the best place to put our wheel. I mean, I'll put it here for a, for a hot second, just to see. Well, let's uh, put its priority to utmost priority. Although it's night. Okay, hold on, let's speed up. Ready? <laughs> We've got 135 bloody logs. They should be turned into planks in no time. Can't get all required reason. Why not? A whole day went by and you couldn't build a bloody bit of thing in the water. Yeah, there we go. What a current. Nothing. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, that's interesting. So there's no point. It is giving no current. So we don't want to put a water wheel there. Right, gotcha. Okay, so we can just get rid of that. We get our resources back, so that's fine. This will still work. It'll still give us water, and that's what we kind of want. Oh, right. You can't make it over the farmland. Interesting. But you can put it up there. So if you wanted to, you could put stairs up to another storage here. Ah, oh, I love that. He's, uh, he's really struggling. It takes him an hour and a half or an hour and a bit to make one plank, and each one needs four planks, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yay, definitely got this. This is one hell of a project I've got going here. Oh, also we got our inventors in here. And that's how you get points in order to unlock these sorts of things. You can get some crazy bridges and stuff. Um, what do I need to do? Yeah, I was kind of wanting to do this. So, let's look at houses. We got that, this huge house. So what you could do is we could rotate this that way. 
and have that there at the end. Try to think of a way that would make this seem better. And put one there. And put one there. Boom. Let's put the priority onto this piece and this piece. Because that way, at least they can get into those. Yeah, look at that. One, nine, three. Oh, I didn't realize we got a drought coming. Oh, God, it's coming soon. Right. Uh, we got a guy who's working on trees with broken teeth. <laughs> Bless him. We, I haven't had a single one die yet. I'll be sad when one does. Because eventually it will. Drought start. Okay, here, here it comes. So get ready for power to disappear. What I will do, actually, hold on. I'll pause that. Yeah, power stopped. Zero. Ah, brilliant. Okay, now what I wanted to do was this. A land wheel. Kind of wanted to go that way. In fact, actually, oh, the only thing that's here is one of those. Oh, <laughs> who cares about that then? Beautiful. Okay, and then we'll play. We'll put this on high priority. These things, because at least we can still get some power. They are working on it. We do have 116 wood, so that's great. We just need to wait for night to pass. Once night passes, we good. There we go. <laughs> Inventors, invent! And you're paused. But then once this wheel's up and running, which it is, and then the power is connected, look at them go beavering away. <laughs> yes. Um, and can you not collect that stuff? Full power. Hi, bro. Yeah, Digirel. <laughs> He's went from his other job to now doing this. <laughs> Once a beaver of fine craft. Now he walks for a living. <laughs> so oh, this is so cool. We're in the drought. And then, you know, you have to. You have to do with what you got. And now we are still... We're, we're doing this. We're good. We're turning logs into planks, which is brilliant. While nothing else can happen, a lot of guys are probably unemployed. I mean, we've got the berry station here, and then they're going to go off and collect all these berries. I'm fine with those berries, but I want this bit. This bit needs to be, you know, the hub of activity. This is where we're going to cut everything. There we go. <laughs> it's like nobody collected it until I made it high priority. Although, I don't think anyone can get to this. It's only one log, though, so it's not really too much of a priority. Oh, look at that. You've almost done... Oh, wait, I can get rid of this now. That home you've lived in for ages. It's gonna have to go by. <laughs> Just when they're sleeping. Destroy the house. Oh, you know what it is? We can make potatoes in the middle. I've never made potatoes. Oh... Oh yeah, this is a warehouse. I think it just has lots of carrots. Although no goods are stocked in there at the moment. As you can see, we have no crops. We are literally... Just, yeah, look at them all taking the carrots and stuff. <laughs> Little sign of uh, telling you what they are. Yes! The drought is over! No! Oh, there it is! <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! Now we have so much power. You can stop spinning that now. There's no need. Off you get. And get on that. Make your gears. Although there's different things we can do when it comes to power. Like, we could do a windmill. 1,400 for a large windmill. Though it does give 400. Jesus. How about we just do this one? We'll unlock the small windmill. And we can probably put it on top of houses. We have... Oh my god, we have no carrots. We've got no bloops. Uh-oh, okay, okay. Everyone's everyone's not happy. I, I realize now. I'm, I'm stupid. Uh, uh, where's the berries? Berry, berry, berries. No, no, no one. I made that high priority. I know you guys are starving. We're waiting for the harvest. Boom. There you go. There's actually underground storage you can make as well. Which would be grounds only, must only be uh, unique to this faction. So I'm assuming it would just be like one entrance just to tunnel down. Do they die? I hope they don't die if they run out of food because everybody's starving. Did you make it? Oh, hell yeah, you did. Okay, we need to design what, what it's for. Uh, we'll have this one as planks. They're, they're taking care of their uh, carrots. How close are they? Ah. Okay, they're 99% done. Yes! Look, they're popping! Yes! Carrots are back on the menu, boys. And then they're instantly eating them. <laughs> Anything? We starved for weeks. Look, soon we'll have potatoes. It'll be all right. So we'll delete that. Uh, how long do potatoes take? Six days and you get one potato. That's... that's fairly long time but do we have a place specifically for right prioritize potatoes that could be the potato house oh that's perfect put put the put the 
put the fire right next to all the houses. We could put it on top, actually. Oh, heck yeah. Get that grill up there. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> it's like a chimney. What else we got? We got a grist mill. What the hell is a grist mill? Okay, so that's changing from wheat into flour, I assume. A bakery? Okay, well, we don't have any flour. All right, guys, we've just got the timer. Three days till the next drought. But I'm, I'm, I'm looking hopeful. You know, we've got this irrigation tower now, which is really going to help hopefully keep all the crops still growing while there's drought. Because every time a drought happens, soil dries up, crops dry up. And it doesn't... Oh, look at the little baby! Vuno could, yes! A fine name. Also, why is this berry bush still here? Make it a top priority, lads. Oh, wait. Looks unsightly. There's also different districts. I don't know how to make different districts, though, which is the interesting thing. I'm looking forward to it. Also, if we look on the map, there's these structures. So I think this is supposed to have taken place in a, like a, you know, after humanity has long disappeared, beavers have now become the more, I don't know, special species, <laughs> the smartest. So these are like old infrastructures, like of metal, and you can harvest those for something. I'm not too sure what. Hey, your beavers are happier than ever. You've reached a new well-being high school. Sweet. Is that because of grilled potatoes? It's because of grilled potatoes. <laughs> Broke your teeth, though. Don't... Don't really know how to how to stop that from happening. Yeah, look at him. Smoking them potatoes. Aw. Beaver is injured. No, how do we make a hospital? Healer. <gasps> there we go. Makes medicine and distributes it to medical beds. Teeth grinder. Basically, broken teeth. That's what we need. They need to have these things. I'm assuming visitors want. Oh, there we go. Okay, you know what? I'll spend the points on it. Medical bed. Keep them in the shade. There we go. We don't want, you don't want to be able to look into the medical beds. That's not good. We're not even halfway. <gasps> He's using all the water to fill up the red to keep the crops from growing. No, no, no. Not needed. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. The water that's now stocked up in here. No, everyone else is out of water. We're not even halfway through the drought. Okay, good. They just took it out. Okay, that's good. That's good. We've got plenty of carrots to do us. That's that's more than fine. But they've shifted all the water around now so they can drink it. Oh, good. <laughs> I was getting a little bit worried there. Right, okay. So we're one day away. We have 19 water. <laughs> but my brainiacs are going out. Look at them. Okay, Sulia, Soldala, Ngornel, and Key. Don't sound like beaver names. I've got to be honest. Learn who's giving power to that one. I don't even know if this one gets power. Like, if we give it power, as long as we're still making some planks. That's the important thing. There we go. Beautiful. Working at 100% capacity now. What did I get? Oh, I give the... Oh, I give the campfire in the rooftop terrace. <laughs> hey, look, this is a the campfire. That's brilliant. They're so cute. Look at the tails. They're up here as well. Oh my god, I love this game, man. This is so cool. <laughs> Although, we are desperately out of water. All right, drought ended. Play. Top priority. Get the water in there. All right, there we go. Ooh, I made the adjustments. I've got rid of all of the small little water things because we didn't really need those. And instead, I put a big one here. So this one can be used for the crops as well as refilling the air. Uh, the almighty reservoir thing. And then we've got the big one over here, which when everyone wakes up to, they just go and get their uh, daily drink of water. That's it. They only get one sip per day. <laughs> okay, guys. Don't know where I last left off. We've got a good harvest of this crop, but I don't know. Things for some odd reason went a bit crazy for a while. <laughs> I'm not exactly too sure why. Uh, we finally have this up and running. And they're slowly taking water to it. But I realize, I think the problem is just taking things and carrying it. I don't know what they're holding. Oh, I think, well, this is water. 14 of 14 kilograms, so seven water. And that is half of what this thing can actually hold. And when they're away, it's not getting anything. Like, it's not pumping anymore. So what we need is people to transport this to a different area. And that's what we need a hauling post for. So we're going to make that top priority. And I'm hoping, I am really hoping by the time we get the next drought, uh, we are just fully supplied on carrots and everything. So I have 
45 wheat in there. Actually, loads of wheat. So much wheat, in fact. I think I need to get rid of this wheat. Oh, not that one, sorry. <laughs> that one. I need to get rid of that wheat and then make another uh, storage for the wheat. We've stopped production on brains as well. That's that's not happening. I love this bit. This bit's perfect. And I'm kind of... I'm getting there with this. This is good too. We've got lots of taties. I don't know how many potatoes we've got. Only one? I guess people are eating the potatoes. <laughs> so we, we should probably put, play that. Unless... Oh, had I... Oh, we'll be making grilled potatoes. That's why everyone's got a happiness of eight. Oh my god, this is seven days of drought. Oh. No. Hold on, hold on. I need to think about this. Seven days of drought. I, I do not have enough water. Okay, we are back. Guys, after I last left off, I kind of just decided to play this by myself for a good few hours. I restarted because there was no there was no end in sight. It, it was going to go wrong. But here we are. This is the last hour before it becomes drought. And we have 969 water. We have, we, like, I've done so much. Like, look at this. This is glorious. I've figured out so much as well. We got baths. We got campfires. We got shrines there. We got this little pool pit thing as well. Um, we have this. We have 67 uh, of these guys. There's a lot of minus ones because everyone's hungry. But, but I realized why everyone was hungry. Uh, and that is because these farmhouses is how they cut crops. I just thought they ran around and just picked them randomly. No, 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 no. You need to have them assigned to farmhouses. So I played after, during the drought, and everyone died. So this is right at the moment where things can go wrong. And I think I know what I did. So we, I've, <laughs> if I could even talk. I made this little place. I had loads of fun uh, building this. How all these houses here. This looks awesome. I loved it. I loved it. It's so cool. I love this sort of, you know, everything just on top of each other, all higgledy biggledy. I've also got all this wheat. And we've got wheat flour there. And we're about to build a uh, bakery on top. Now you can actually see we're also going to have some power from the windmill. Um, we have some loads of amazing power here. Uh, this is Spud Factory. However, um, I've just made this. This thing here. It has no water in. And it's going to be make or break, guys. It's really going to be make or break. Um, I think I'm going to have to put all these on high priority if they don't have anyone in them but they actually do which is great we have one here as well it's oh it has everything okay so we need to assign this to water as well and i just wish there was a way for me to say to my my beavers like no we need water screw everything else we need water because i thought you know it'll be fine we got like almost a thousand of water no 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 because i had this irrigation tower i have this irrigation tower but what I realized is actually most important is this irrigation tower because this is going to supply the wheat with the water it needs. And for every, I think, what does it say? Uh, well, we'll find out what recipe. Here we go, bread. So I think the bread recipe, you, you make five bread for every one flour. And we have 48 flour. So 48, basically 50 times by five. You've got 250 or, or something. You, you got lots. You got two, yeah, 250? Maybe 250. Bread. And that's what everyone's suffering with. They're all hungry. Their production's a little bit low at the moment. But I don't know. We're, we're going to jump in and just see how it goes, man. I'm nervous. I am really, really nervous. Okay, this is it. The last day. We made it the last day of the drought. And we have literally no water. That's it. And we had 60 odd, remember? We're down to 38. People are now starving and dehydrated. I don't know, man. I think... I think... I've got to reconsider how I do this because how, I mean, I need two kitchens. I need two of these kitchens to work hard enough and fast enough to supply my workers with food so that they, they have production and then they don't start dying and they can keep on repopulating because at the moment they're just so weak that they're, they're not reproducing because they're unhappy because they're hungry. If they weren't hungry, then they would be fine and the population would be going up. So, oh God, this is like a failed attempt. Attempt number two, technically, of trying to get this to work because it can work. I know it can work. It can, I swear. 
It's looking promising. Three giant vats of that. This thing that just needs to go up and running. I think we can do this. It's going to be close, though. It's going to be close. Okay, there we go. Oh, I've got two of the mill things. I've got two bakeries. And we still have 68 uh, beavers left. We have 4.2 days. We have 400 water. Don't think... Well, we know the water is going to run out pretty quick. I think the last day we have no water. But... As long as we can get the next three days with everyone, you know, satiated with their hunger. We can get these mills pumping out flour. I mean, I've only got 111 wheat. But double the production should really be enough, I think, in order to churn out, you know, 10 bread every hour. Um, so, you know, the whole day we should have a, a lot of bread. We should have a lot of bread. Okay, so we've done better this time. We've made it to the final day. And we've still got lots of water, <laughs> but we've only got 32. We've lost like 40 beef. <laughs> I'm assuming due to like, well, I mean, they're not making babies because they ain't happy. But at the same time, at least we're getting food. We just need to make it. This is the final day. Got to 31 beavers. Way better than last time. Water's going to come back. As soon as that water comes back, the crops can come back. And we'll just see how it goes. I think it's going to be close. It's going to be really close. Okay. Okay, we made it. 26 beavers. And we're doing good, I think. <laughs> Run off to die. Right. I've decided. I've pulled out everybody from everything. And we are now... Yeah, I'm going to pause that. I'm going to pause this. We're going to pause, like, wheat production, bread production. We're going to bring everybody into the fold, into here. To focus on the carrots. Focus on what little water production we have going here. No, we've lost this one. Okay, okay. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I just realized, wait a minute. The carrots are going to take four days to grow. Ah. Oh. Balls. Okay. I've made it to the last day. We have 28, which <laughs> seems like what I had last time, though. It just seems like two bakeries are too slow. And then if I keep all the carrots going at the same time, well, I'll run out of water. And then there's no way to, to get the water again. So we're on the final day. 28. I think that was exactly what we were on last time. <laughs> I just thought there was a shot. I thought, okay, I was wrong and stupid. Maybe we're on zero. People are doing good now. I think the amount of bread is uh, is keeping everyone kind of happy. Do we have any babies? <gasps> Wait, I might actually be doing it. We have a baby. Because, yeah, with all the beavers dying... There was less need for that much, um, that many bread. It's actually worked out. Yes. Yes. Okay, now we need the water pumps. We'll turn on just these ones over here. I, I think we're with the shot, guys. I honestly do. Get these guys going, pumping water. And now these are just going to grow because they're fertilized by the, uh, or they're hydrated by just the general water. Then everyone, everyone else's happiness is going to get better because they could take showers now. Oh, did a berry die? No, it dried out. It was too much. Too much. You just couldn't take it. Oh, yeah. Some of them have gone. Oh, these droughts are getting nuts, dude. Okay, okay. Three babies. Yes, some of them are happy. We're going to do it. Okay, yep. The carrots are on the go. That is fantastic. Um, yep, yep, yep. That's good. That's good. We don't need power. That's fine for the bread. The wheat is there. The wheat is going. We're on 25 still. <laughs> it's mainly the water. That's what we need. Is just keep on getting that water up. Keep the water coming. Yes! No one's hungry anymore! We got six berries, 10 bread, 10, 16 carrots. Oh my god. Okay, maybe a few are hungry. But, but we're, we've got a good amount of stuff going now. Oh, thank God. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. This video has been like two days of recording. My God. But here we are. Uh, I've just been alerted by the next drought. Um, we have got a plethora of food. I have enough leeway to pretty much decide how I'm going to tackle this next one. I 
I still have a fraction of the beavers I had before. I've got 12 kids up and coming. Look at that, 14 for happiness. That's crazy. Um, so it's looking good. It's looking good. As long as even in the drought, I keep my guys fed and happy. We've got the wheat, which is just about ready uh, to keep the bread going for uh, over the drought. And then hopefully we can get back up to the population limit I was at before. And we can just, like, expand and maybe go up here. Maybe go around here. Try and work out how to utilize this bit the best. Because that will always have water. And if we can build out planks over towards it, maybe, just maybe, we're in with a shot of having a sustainable amount of water during a drought. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.